Welcome to Parsnips and Parsimony. We are going to make some meatballs, like a whole bunch of meatballs, with the meat that we got on sale a few days ago. This is what we have so far. We have the meat, the lentils, eggs, and salt. what's it, salt? salt. Yep. And the girls are helping to make this. And I'm cutting up some uh, Onion. onions. Uh, yeah, we had a few rotten onions that we had to get rid of. But anyway, someone gave us these onion glasses to um, they keep you from crying when you do onions. Uh, I may try those and see how those work. <laughs> so that would make a mess. Black pepper dust everywhere. Oh. Mm -hmm. The onions making you cry? Yep. What about you, Art? Hmm. Are they no, I got the onion glasses. <laughs> and one of the viewers gave this to us. So, uh, they saw us crying with onions, so they oh, said, "You hey, need this." So, anyway. Yeah. Okay, we need one ta We need one tablespoon of that. Okay, onions. Here's two. Uh, well, I cut out the rotten parts on a couple of them, so close to two. Like, Good enough. Like, equals the two. Can I mix them in? We gotta add a few more things, kiddo, and then you can mix. Yeah. We're going to use fresh parsley. Look at how well that's grown this year. Yeah, it has. It's delicious. Can I get some parsley? Yep, too? you can pick some too. One more, two more closer. You need a bunch. It's about oh, a quarter hell. cup. Yeah, that's probably about good. Yeah. yeah. A little bit more. Okay. It'll make it taste good. Yeah. Chop yours, and then Lydia can chop hers, and Mary can chop her, or Grace, no, Lily oh, can yeah. chop hers. No, so. I'll get Everybody it right. Everybody wanted to chop their parsley? Yeah. Okay, a cup of, a cup of shaky cheese. Okay, you want some help in the shaky cheese? Okay, buddy, you can do one. And a little bit of garlic powder. I think that's it. Yeah. This is all right. They go numb. You know when I say you have spicy hands because you're very fell asleep? Mush. 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 Mush.
Yep, yep just like that. There you okay. go. And now take, watch it though at the court hole, it comes out really fast. So you the hole. Right in that corner. Gently, 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 and just you go back and forth. Just like really quickly. Excuse me, this goes into my chair. What is that trying for? It's just decorative. And then go ahead and put your gold sprinkles on. There you go. Yeah. Good job. I caught that on camera again. Take two. <laughs> you didn't get me. No, I didn't get it. Me either. <laughs> me either. Should I turn to... I think it looks good. That looks very nice. Good job. Okay, Lily, your turn. When are we going to eat them? Oh, we'll eat them after dinner, okay? Yay! Welcome back to Persons and Parts Pony. It is St. Patrick's Day. And so I had been planning, I think you guys had watched that video when I went to Michael's. I was planning on doing this craft with the kids. We had chores this morning, so <laughs> it's now afternoon time. But I went ahead and made some samples here and we're gonna give some of those away to friends. Kids are gonna finish making up these. And in the Instant Pot, I put the corned beef. I don't think I've done corned beef in the Instant Pot. I don't think I have. It said 90 minutes. I put it in at 3.30, so I'm hoping it'll be done by 5-ish. It's 4.10 right now. I'm thinking about making Irish soda bread. Kids aren't really keen on cooked cabbage. I love it. I love it. Do you, do you like cooked cabbage, boiled cabbage? I don't think the kids like it. I so, <laughs> I don't know. I might make just yeah. a small thing of boiled cabbage for me and work on that but that's what we've been up to it's been a busy morning and the kids are loving this activity i posted the instructions on how to do it both on facebook instagram and youtube if you guys want to see a little bit more on how to assembly super super easy few supplies at michael's use your coupons it's a fun activity a little messy but fun just a little bit lily <laughs> we'll have a few pretzels after we finish our project, okay? We'll see what's left. Pretzels, so they're so good. I know they're good. They are this very one, nice. This one's mine. Good job. We were in the process of making Irish soda bread, but it's not going to be done in time for dinner. So we're going to eat dinner so what's first. The next thing? We'll finish. We'll finish it up after Hello. dinner, okay? <laughs> Good morning, it's the next day, and we have to play chicken doctor today. Because one of the chickens has a prolapsed vent. Yes, there is such a thing. Hi, girls. Hey, we got three chickens and three nesting boxes. All right. <laughs> so we noticed this a couple days ago, and we've been treating her. And so hopefully today we're going to see some major improvement. But just like humans can have prolapses so can chickens who knew this is a first for us and been doing a lot of reading on how to treat it so we're doing some treatment with her how are they doing in there uh, they want some goodies they want some treats charity bro home strawberry hauls and hopefully she's going to recover from this doesn't that look yummy oh that looks delicious cabbage and strawberry hauls they're gonna love it Come out, girls. Oh, yeah. Watch them fly for this. Yeah. <laughs> they all come out. They, they know. It's treat time. Oh. Cabbage on the back. We'll save the rest for the other chickens. Yep. Look at them go. <laughs> on this coop here, we found that you need to actually feed the chickens outside before you collect the eggs, or they'll all try to escape. Don't ask me how we know that. <laughs> but learning curve to chicken ownership. Every coop is different. Our coop in the barn, we don't have that problem, but this coop, they love to escape. So feed them first, then collect the eggs. Okay, so little chick is taken care of. We've been bringing her into the greenhouse where it's warm, so I don't have to bring her into the house. Um, I wouldn't say it's better, I wouldn't say it's worse, but we have her in the dark and it feels like she has an egg she needs to lay, so that's not gonna help matters. But love my greenhouse. So for the next couple days, it's supposed to be pretty warm 
and we already know the greenhouse has been getting up to temperature so I'm gonna have to vent it but we're gonna bring out the plants that have germinated from inside because they're getting so big and I have to start the tomatoes so we're gonna put them out here hopefully that will help them from getting too leggy I'm not doing lights um, I did lights one year I could do them again but now that I have the greenhouse, I think it's better out here. So we're going to bring them all out for a couple days. Watch the temperatures because I see next week they're calling for some frost. Maybe the greenhouse will be fine. These are cold hardy crops, so I would think they'd be okay. But you know, I certainly don't want to risk it either. What do you have in there, Mary? Some of my zinnias. Wow, they have looked really healthy. Last night I fertilized them for you. Okay, so they'll get really big. And I think they'll... I think they'll be happy out here, at least yeah. for a couple days. We'll have to watch them so they don't get um, frosty, though. We'll probably watch them too. We'll they'll be okay for a couple nights, yeah. but then next week they're calling for frost. So we'll probably yeah, just because go they're not—they're definitely not cold hardy. But they look, look—they're getting their first set of true leaves there. Yeah, looking good. Oh, look at you! Right here, don't get a dirty. You want me to take it? No. It's because of the crack in this one. Yeah, those look good. Good job. I think right here would be a good spot. Yep. That's it. Oh, they're going to love it in no, here. Yeah. Okay, your next one. Thank, Thank you. you. Last night, Lydia and I fertilized all these. So I use, um, I think it's called, oh, I'll show you the bottle when I get back into the house. But it's a liquid fertilizer that I use on my seedlings. One of you guys sent that to me years and years ago and I use it every time I water and these seedlings will grow really healthy and stocky so they just got their first set last night from here on out they'll get that fertilizer every time they get watered the old broccoli from 2017 as you can see none of that sprouted so that was good I'll go home go back and check those seeds but everything else looks really good for the broccoli cabbage and Brussels sprouts there's another tray. Do I have any more or is that? One more. One more. I don't know if you guys can see it, but there's a baby celery. Can I see? There's another one right there coming. They're just starting. There's another one. Okay. That didn't even take two weeks. I don't know if you can see it, Gracie. It's really what tiny right I there. See? You see it? Yeah, I see it right there. Right, oh. there, right there. Yay! They're cool. yeah, I see it. Oh, yeah, look at that. Oh, we'll see more in just a few days. They'll really start growing. Yay. Well, this one. Yeah. And I think we've determined that it's time to move these plants out as well. The geraniums are doing really well. These are the tops that I cut off, so these don't have any roots on them. And they're just rooting by themselves. And then, of course, my parsley. I think it'll be much happier in the greenhouse. The girls were biking, but the mail came and someone sent them bocce <laughs> balls. So this is the uh, sweet art. Muck yeah. boots, rain jackets, <laughs> bike helmets, and, and bocce, bocce ball. ball. <laughs> we're on blank, probably. Uh, a little too far. Yeah. Uh, can Mary or Grace learn from her sister's mistake? Here we go. Oh, that was better. Wow. Okay. All right, Lily. Yeah, we have to factor that in. Bocce ball. What? And it still snow. Not too yeah. hard. We are playing bocce ball in the winter. Okay, so I think Grace is the closest so far. Well, the sledding hill's not quite as big of a puddle. Can we run down the hill? Just don't fall in the mud. Okay. And don't push anybody. Don't step in the mud, no. <laughs> Look at This is from John and Charity years ago. It's what was that one? Something. Uh, something the sun run. And then I think we have another one over here. And then over there, there's a deer hollow. Oh, right. Oh, this one's a turtle? Yeah. Yep. Uh, it's seen better days. <laughs> and one more. This one, I guess, is Moss Hill. Okay. <laughs> that one didn't make so well. Come on, use your muscles, climb the hill. 
Okay, okay you guys can't see it on camera, but right... Do I jump down there so the video... Yeah, yeah show the bump. There's a sledding bump. So I guess this is the one... See all that bump? <laughs> this is the hill they... Only the bravest of brave will sled oh, down in the winter. Did, yeah, did, did you all do it? Yeah. Probably not Daniel, though. No, he yeah. never came. It's been a couple days since I started this video, or I filmed last. Oh, good job, Lily. Look at you go. Lillian's learning how to ride her bike. Good job. <laughs> I'm getting better. You are getting better. Well, one more time. Mommy. Go for it. <laughs> it is going to get down to freezing tonight. Past freezing. So we actually had to bring all the plants inside because I just, the greenhouse is not getting down. It's getting too cold. And we figured out that most of the air coming in is around the door where we put the plastic. The plastic isn't sealed tightly. So we're considering our options of getting some plexiglass and being able to fold it down so we can open it and vent it that way. But that's still a work in progress. I haven't found plexiglass yet. That's a work in progress, but it's supposed to be down to 28 tonight. I just don't want to risk losing any of my plants. I also need to, I never got around to starting the tomatoes. So I'm gonna try to do that. It's been a little crazy around here, just taking care of ourselves, friends, neighbors. So anyways, that's the scoop. I just wanted to close out this video so we could get it up and you can guys get caught up more to real time. I will show you how the plants look. I think I showed you on Friday, maybe it was Saturday, what they look like. Today is Monday. And look how much they've grown. The plants have loved the greenhouse. They have done so, so well. I don't know if you can see how nice they look. So those are in, then the onions are in. We've definitely figured out what's working, what's old seeds, what's new seeds. I do need to transplant the lettuce. I'm not sure if I'll have a chance to do that tonight because these need to get put into separate trays. But this, they've done fairly well. I would like to have had more of a successful germination rate, but I've been watching Charles Dowding and his channel, he was saying that if the lettuce stays too wet, it just the germination isn't there. And I think this might be what I'm seeing. It was just not as good as I would have liked, but that's okay. There's still quite a few lettuce plants and I'm probably gonna replant again. So I'll have more for succession planting. And the geraniums have absolutely loved the greenhouse. They are doing fabulous, but again, we brought those in just, they are pretty cold hardy, but he, I didn't wanna risk it. So there you have it. That is our most recent update, what's going on. And I will keep you guys posted over on Instagram of any baby happenings. I may be able to post, depends on what happens with baby, maybe I'll post here on YouTube and on Facebook, but it'll probably more than likely happen mostly on Instagram. So if you haven't followed me there yet, the link is down in the description below and you can see all the baby news there. I hope you guys are having a fabulous day. Thanks so much for tuning in and we'll see you for our next video. Bye.